right, babe? I'm, I'm gonna salvage him. Wash them first, and then the box. Oh my gosh, he's so warm! <laughs> well, I read about it. He could be sleeping. It's a, it's a quail. Dude, I read it. Lots of people do it. I was going to. I'll support you, but I think it's crazy. Well, you're supposed. Well, I just feel like we should be saving the earth. One bird at a time. He's dead, man. He just ripped his wing off. He's dead. Well, we got the wings off. It's completely plucked. What? It's completely plucked if you want to come check it out. Wings and feet are off. Now just the head comes and I got it. You're crazy ass. <laughs> I'm videoing it. <laughs> this looks like a chicken. It's because I cut the tail off wrong, I think. So now his head comes off, and then you get it. Ugh. It just looks like a chicken! What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> really? How are you gonna be a hunter? I don't know about that. Okay, well I just cut his head off. Seems fairly weird to do that to an animal. But, uh... Has to be done, I guess. I feel like... I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. It said he cut its head off and then it bleeds out, but it's not really doing that. <laughs> he looks like a chicken. Let's we'll clean him up so it doesn't look so bad for TV. So this is where we're at now. Well. You are cool though. I do admire that. Thanks though. And now I'm gonna skin him. You're all grow with that. Skinning a quail. So the skin is very, very thin. You see this? It's super duper thin. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move that out of your way. As you can see, it just kind of peels off. Well, YouTube made it look a lot easier. I've also never done this, so you guys on YouTube have a lot more experience. Minus some fat that I didn't want to take off. Honestly, it kind of smells good. <laughs> that may be really weird. But it kind of does. I feel like there's still guts inside this guy. I can feel it. <laughs> I think you just pull them out. Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> wow, this is like a science class. Oh yeah, a science class that doesn't smell so good no more. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so 
So those of you guys who know me know I have a crazy sense of smell. So this right here, this right here is not so good. <laughs> not so good for Tammy. But we're getting it done. I feel like this is gonna be his heart. Wow. Wow, this is, what the hell is that? This is definitely science class. I feel like we should skip science and get kids doing this. And there are many quails in your backyard. I don't know if this, I don't know if this is wrong or right, but let me tell you, this thing hit my window. It was gonna die anyways, and I just learned more here than I did in probably an entire science class. <laughs> and you know what it took? YouTube. I'm not saying school isn't beneficial. I'm just saying you can learn a lot in your backyard if you're open to it. Okay. I don't know where we are here, but. Ah, there's the heart. Amazing. Amazing. I definitely could have been a doctor. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> That's right, Christine. <laughs> Here I come, nursing. Nursing 101. This is definitely more work than I thought it was gonna be. I never thought on my mother's birthday, I'd be sticking my finger in a quail's butt. <laughs> I mean, for real. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm gonna spray this with water now because I pretty much got it completely. It looks like it's cleaned out a lot better than it was. And it smells a lot better than it did. I feel like we're closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... Alright, I'm gonna a good wash now. Really clear. Fill it. I don't know why it's coming out. Nice and clean. So it looks like you kinda did that. So, ladies and gentlemen, when the zombie apocalypse happens, you can come to my house. Because I got hundreds of quails. And I'll tell you, now that I've learned how to do that, it really only took me 20 minutes. 20 minutes to make myself, this is a meal. This is breakfast. 